Okay, so the first thing you do when you wake up within the first 45 minutes, we've got to get some sort of protein and fat or just protein or a little bit of fat. I recommend a protein shake um, in water. I also recommend, you know, 12 to 18 almonds, maybe a hard-boiled egg, something to get you going in the morning and turn off those negative hormones that put us to bed. Um, after a workout, I always recommend some sort of protein and fat. Depends on the intensity. You may want to be able to throw maybe half a banana or a handful of blueberries in that shake as well. Lunch, I typically recommend a small portion of a starchy carb, meaning maybe um, two ounces of a sweet potato or a third cup of brown rice. And then we definitely want to get into that three to five ounces of good protein, which could be a chicken breast, um, halibut, could be tuna fish, could be lean sirloin. Um, and then we also want to look at a good fat source, which could be some avocado. You could look at um, almonds. You could look at walnuts. Things like that is your lunch um, source of uh, foods. Uh, the afternoon snack, I typically go for protein and fat, so it would be more like a protein shake with some almonds or protein shake and some um, peanut butter mixed up in it. And then dinner is always protein, fat, and vegetable. So, and then maybe before bed, depending on how many times a day you eat, uh, you're looking at a good source of protein, which could be some casein, it could be some whey protein, could be some uh, Greek yogurt. Uh, that's a good source of uh, protein, you know, half hour, 45 minutes before bed. If we, if we go through the process of eating every three to four hours and we have the balance of a good source of protein, fats, vegetable, carb at each meal, then what we get is we do get a, a good balance of your insulin response to each meal throughout the day. So by re, uh, giving a good insulin response to each meal, we reduce the risk of storing body fat.